focus and look into the horror. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Gershon, and this week we are doing my Horror Movie Collection, Volume 6. Yes, it's been quite a while since I've done one of these, and I've amassed quite a few horror films in my collection since the last time, for sure. Um, yeah, all about physical media for me, you know, guys? <laughs> Uh, I can only stream so much, you know. Uh, you just can never find something you want on the streaming networks all the time, you know. You gotta have the physical media. So we're gonna start off with the slashers. Uh, and here's a real old school one. This is one of the video nasties. <laughs> uh, from the 70s, the late 70s. Uh, yeah, definitely a nasty one, and, uh, a lot of the, the best kills are towards the beginning, like the first, uh, 15 minutes. Um, but it's well worth it. Definitely a great exploitation slasher. Next up is a very recent one, and, uh, this one is directed by Deborah Voorhees, uh, who... We uh, interviewed over at the Morbid Hour. Uh, she's, of course, starred in uh, Friday 13th Part 5, and this centers around a Friday 13th obsessed fan who has become a Jason style killer, you know? Next, we have Blood Rage, <laughs> which takes place on Thanksgiving, yeah. This is the only really good. Thanksgiving slasher I can think of. I know there's that cheesy uh, Thanksgiving or whatever. <laughs> uh, but this is an actual good film. Uh, the killer reminds me a lot of Patrick Bateman, the way he's so nonchalant about things. <laughs> uh, killing for him is as easy as eating a piece of toast. Next up, of course, we have Chopping Mall. <laughs> Classic slasher from the 80s. And the slasher killers are actually killer robots. <laughs> uh, that are basically the, supposed to be the security in the mall. But of course, they blow a gasket and start killing everybody in sight. Next up, we have Hell Knight starring the great Linda Blair. Uh, in a great, very moody slasher film. Uh, it's also got great haunted house vibes to it as well. Uh, it's got a great gothic feel to it, like some of the old Hammer films. And here's a very recent one, uh, X. Uh, very impressed with this film. Uh, you got Mia Goth does such a great job in this film. Jenna Ortega. Uh, those are two major stars right now. Uh, and X had a, a great Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibe to it. I thought it was a hell of a lot better than the actual Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that we got that was on Netflix. This is way better. Next up is a film that uh, Full Moon 1973 turned me on to, uh, and that's Gutter Balls. Really fun, very over-the-top slasher film. Uh, it's brutal, and it's silly, it's goofy, it's just wacky as hell, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. And of course, you had Terrifier, absolutely brutal slasher film. Uh, starring David Howard Thornton as, of course, Art the Clown. Probably the newest iconic slasher villain. And then you had Terrifier 2, which may have been even more brutal. I mean, I mean, this movie is so violent and over the top with the kills. Uh, it's absolutely brutal. Then I got this Friday 13th, you know, 8 movie collection. I'm sure you've seen this all around. Uh, unfortunately, 
I can't afford the box set, you know? <laughs> I've been wanting the box set of every, all the Friday 13ths together for a long time, but... You know, it never goes down in price. It seems to only go up in price, you know? It's, it's just crazy. I don't think I'll ever get it. <laughs> and then we have My Bloody Valentine, and this is, of course, the... Uh, has the unrated version the uh, with all the kills that were cut out from the theatrical version and this does have the theatrical version on it as well, but I Just love uh, seeing those extra kills. It just makes it that more nasty And then we have scream the requel <laughs> uh, Yeah uh, I love the idea of the requel that they make fun of in this film uh, with just calling the film Scream instead of Scream 5, which is what it really is. Uh, yeah, I thought it worked out really great. Uh, and you got the original three from the original film. You got Nev Campbell, uh, David Arquette, and uh, of course Courtney Cox. As well as a great new cast of characters, you know, that will hopefully bring the uh, franchise forward uh, in the future. Uh, and I feel like the franchise is in good hands because they did a great job with this film. we got House on Sorority Row, classic slasher from the 80s. Uh, and it's got surprisingly eerie vibes, you know, to it. It's actually a very creepy slasher film. Um, it's got all the classic 80s style, you know, teenage, you know, <laughs> angst to, to it, but uh, it's a really good flash of film. Much better than I expected it to be. Slaughter High <laughs> starring Carolyn Monroe uh, who is a high school student at one point, but she's about 35 when they film the movie. <laughs> so it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> This is just a fun, fun slasher film. Uh, nothing but fun, nothing but great creative kills, and it's goofy as hell. Uh, but it's just awesome. Uh, rare British slasher. And we got Stage Fright. Uh, which kind of crosses the line between Italian giallo film and, uh, and 80s slasher film, uh, but... I think it, it counts as both, uh, and it's a fantastic film, very eerie, very strange, and uh, beautifully directed, uh, it's got some nasty kills, uh, great film. And we got another very underrated slasher from uh, 1981, Just Before Dawn, uh, and this is the film that kind of... Uh, you don't hear about too much, but uh, man, it's got some of the moodiest. Uh, I mean, the the atmosphere in this film is just fantastic. The way it's shot, uh, you'll never see a better uh, atmospheric slasher film from the eighties. You got pieces. It's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> it certainly is. Uh, absolutely brutal slasher film. This is another one that kind of walks the fine line between Jallo and uh, slasher, but man, it's got some brutal ass kills. It's so over the top, it's ridiculous, but uh, it's a great time. Bastard! <laughs> and of course, we got Halloween, and this is from the new trilogy. Halloween Kills, and this is my favorite in the David Gordon Green trilogy. It's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of stupidity in there as well, but... Uh, I mean, Michael is at his most savage here. I mean, he just annihilates people. I mean, it's insane. Um, I just think it's the most fun. Uh, it's got the best kills. And appropriately titled, Halloween Kills. <laughs> And then, of course, you had Halloween Ends, uh, which, you know, I was very disappointed with. I mean, it has a lot of good qualities. It certainly was something different for the franchise, telling a different kind of story. 
uh, with the Corey character, uh, not focusing so much on Michael Myers like he did the last couple films. Uh, not even focusing that much on Jamie Lee Curtis either, <laughs> but it was definitely different, and uh, I feel the the way it ended was justified, and it was the right way to end it. Uh, so in closing, overall, I thought it was pretty decent. It's definitely a film that you have to see if you're a Halloween fan, even if you don't like it. And then we got the Halloween 4K uh, releases, which are just fantastic. They look amazing. And this one I got signed by Nick Castle himself, baby, right there. These are great. I love these releases. They look fantastic. And I love the, the box covers are amazing. Uh, just fantastic release. And Halloween 2, once again, looks great. I think there's like five discs in this thing. It's like crazy. Awesome, awesome stuff. I love Halloween too. I can never say enough about it. And I love the covers. I love the art on the covers as well. It's just fantastic. It gives that great fall vibe. You know, the Halloween time. Putting you in the spirit of things. And of course, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Really cool cover there. The black sheep of the Halloween franchise. Then again, you know, Halloween ends could pass for that too. <laughs> Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Such a great sequel. Bringing in Danielle Harris to the series as Jamie Lloyd. And of course, an, another awesome performance from Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis. Halloween 5, which never seems to get a lot of love, but uh, I love the film. I think it's got a lot of really cool stuff going on in it, and uh, I just really enjoy it. Alright, now we got some Stephen King. Uh, and this was a TV miniseries, The Stand, starring Rob Lowe. Then we got Christine, which was, of course, directed by the great John Carpenter. And uh, he's got a fantastic soundtrack in there as well. It's beautifully directed, beautifully shot. Uh, yeah, one of the better Stephen King film adaptions for sure. And you got Cujo, one of my favorites, starring D. Wallace. Definitely one of my favorite Stephen King films. And you got the werewolf one, and that is Silver Bullet, starring Corey Haim and Gary Busey in one of his finest roles. And you got Deadly Friends, one of the most underrated Wes Craven films. And this is kind of the generic DVD that I got, but I did also get. The Scream Factory version, which is just great. I love it. I absolutely love that cover. That is so damn cool. <laughs> yeah, I love this movie, and I was so happy that they finally gave it the love it deserves uh, with this Blu-ray release here. I just love it. And we got Quiet Place Part 2, uh, which is a great, great follow-up to the original, which I... I think is one of the best modern horror films of all time. Uh, and yeah, once again, Emily Blunt is just absolutely magnificent in this movie. <laughs> uh, the entire cast is brilliant, and uh, that's one of the things I love about this. It's Not only is it scary with great tension and beautiful direction by John Krasinski, but the acting is just on a whole other level for horror, you know. And we got House by the Cemetery, and this is a 4K release uh, the, of the Lucio Fulci classic, which is just such a great film, and it and it's just a great mashup of different genres. You got the zombie genre represented, you got the slasher genre represented, and you got the haunted house movie represented, all in one movie. And you got my favorite horror anthology film of all time, Creep Show. 
and this is a beautiful release. Uh, I got the hyped up release here. It's just great. A uh, big step up from the old DVD I had. I and mean, this thing is just loaded with special features. Next up, we have a fantastic British horror film, one of the best ever made. And that is The Blood on Satan's Claw. It's a film you don't hear about too much, but it's it's such a great like folk horror film. Uh, it's just got that Wicker Man vibe to it, you know. <laughs> that classic occult style horror that's just great with uh, Linda Hayden. Uh, fantastic film. We got When a Stranger Calls. Definitely going into the old school slashers from the 70s. Uh, starring Carol Kane and Charles Durning. Uh, such a great film and uh, many people will say it's got one of the scariest openings in horror history and I can't deny that. Um, but I also enjoy the rest of the film which is kind of the the chase of the killer and getting to know the killer, you know. Uh, and I find that really interesting, while well, some people might find that boring, but I love it. And of course, we got Reanimator. I finally got the hyped up Blu-ray from Arrow. Thank God, it's such it's such a great upgrade, uh, and I highly recommend it. Also, upgraded my Hellraiser. All I had was the old school DVD. Now I finally got the Arrow release, which is just fantastic. We got the Night of the Demons. <laughs> Such a fun 80s horror film. Uh, of course, starring Linnea Quigley. Love that cover. This is the Steelbook Blu-ray. You're invited to my party, Angela. We got Happy Death Day to You, <laughs> which I thought was a really good follow-up to the original Happy Death Day. And uh, I'm still waiting for part three. What's going on with that? <laughs> when are we going to get part three, damn it? All right, guys, that's it for volume six of my horror movie collection. Yes, uh, stay tuned for the next episode because we're definitely going to have a couple more. Um, because I got a lot of movies in my collection. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Thank you for joining me. Sean Patrick Urshan in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared. <laughs>